This video will introduce the concept of reaction rates in chemical kinetics. So if we look at our uh, prototypical reaction, which we've been using throughout this playlist, we have reactants A and B going to products C and D. They each have a stoichiometric coefficient, nu A, nu B, nu C, and nu D. And if we take our concept from equilibrium called the extent of reaction, where we have the Greek letter C representing the extent of reaction in moles, then what we can now have to look at the reaction rate is the extent of reaction as a function of time, C of t. So if we want to look at the number of moles of each species that is present as a function of time, the number of moles of A as a function of time equal number of moles number of moles of A naught at t equals zero minus nu A times C of t. So it starts out at some default value and decreases as the extent of reaction moves forward. Same thing for B. The number of moles of B is NB naught minus nu B C of t, also decreasing based off of its stoichiometric coefficient. For C, the product is equal to initial moles of C plus nu C, C of t. So it is increasing over time with the extent of reaction based off of its stoichiometric coefficient. As it is for D, N D of t equals N D naught plus nu D times C of t. All right, so if we want to look at the derivative of each of these number of moles of each chemical species with respect to time, derivative of number of moles of A with respect to time is equal to, just do DDT on this expression, no time dependence in the initial number of moles, but there is time dependence in C. So minus nu A DC DT, decreasing over time based off of the speed of the reaction times minus nu A. Same thing for B, dn B DT equals minus nu B DC DT. The products get produced rather than consumed, so dnc dt equals plus stoichiometric coefficient of c times the derivative of extent of reaction with respect to time. And same for d, there's also a product dnd dt equals plus nu d dc dt. All right, so we're often not interested not only in the number of moles, but in the concentration of each of these species as the reaction proceeds. So the concentration of a given species is equal to its number of moles divided by the volume of the system. So for example, A, which we would represent by this kind of bracket around the quantity A. A of T equals the number of moles of A as a function of T divided by volume. So for the change in the concentration of each of these reactants and products, we have the same expression we had here, but now we're going to be dividing by volume. So D bracket A DT equals minus nu A over V DC DT. Same thing for B, it's a reactant which is consumed minus its coefficient divided by volume. C is a product that gets produced DC DT equals plus nu C over V DC DT as it is for D, another product based off of its stoichiometric coefficient. Okay, so using these expressions, it seems natural that we can express the quantity, which we call the rate of the reaction as follows. So rate of the reaction, which would be V of T, V indicating the velocity of the reaction. I could define that as one over volume times the derivative of the extent of reaction with respect to time. So this would have a unit of moles per liter per second. So we can, we can express this as how the reaction is changing in moles per unit time, uh, per unit volume of the reaction, or we could equivalently express it as a change in the concentration per unit time, as mole per liter is our unit of molarity and seconds being our unit of time. So under this type of expression, the rate of our reaction is negative for our reactants, positive for our products, minus one over each stoichiometric coefficient times the, part, times the derivative of their concentration over time. 
v of t equals minus 1 over nu a dA dt minus 1 over nu b dB dt equals plus 1 over nu c dC dt and plus 1 over nu d dD dt.